So, I received the most delightful package from the Raspberry Pi folks, and it is the new Camera Module 3. It came with a really cute note about, in case my owl familiar needs a new pair of eyes. And while I don't have my owl familiar Archimedes here, I do have Fenrir and Roko, who is something of a work in progress, and either one of them could definitely use an eye upgrade. So what's so special about these cameras? They actually sent me three of them. So we've got the standard one that comes without any extra labeling, plus the wide and no IR version. The wide angle one gives you a bigger field of view with a little bit of distortion. The no IR version, as with previous Pi cameras, comes without an infrared filter. So it's useful for low light situations, security cameras, and just weird photo projects. This camera is something of a dream come true to many people because it's the first one to include powered autofocus. So instead of about one meter to infinity like before, you can rely on this camera to clamp focus on the center of the image, starting at about five centimeters or two inches. The new camera also stands out with full HD video at 50 frames per second, or higher if you go with lower res. Sony's IMX708 sensor is also ready for HDR. Check out the difference it makes in this blog post by Evan Upton. And the 12 megapixel resolution doesn't hurt either. As he mentioned, the default version is still $25, while the wide-angle one is a bit pricier at $35 owing to a more complex optical stack. For you fancy pants high-quality camera module fans, you'll be happy to see a new version of that with an M12 lens mount as well. Compatibility-wise, you can use this camera with any Pi except the 400 computer in keyboard or the original Pi Zero, as well as the Pi Zero case camera lid because of the different sensor placement. Besides those, it's happy to play with any of your existing Pies and any new ones you may soon be able to grab! That's right, as of December, supply is expected to return to pre-2020 levels in Q2 of this year for industrial customers and be virtually unlimited later on. For more on all of this, check out our Hackster News article, linked below. Thank you so much to the Raspberry Pi team for sending these over. I cannot wait to get them into a project. I'm already scheming. Something like a cooler, more animatronic version of this 3PO home assistant I built a few years ago, if you're familiar. So stay tuned. If you like stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, hack on.